Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. It's Tuesday, it's whiskey day, and I hope that you are happy to be here as much as I am. I am super excited about this. This is another one of my whiskeys that had been pushed to the back shelf from about three years ago, um, and this one has not been open. Uh, in fact, I actually don't think it's three years old. I think it's two years old. I think it's from my wife's trip, so we'll have to verify on that. But this is from the Tennessee Legends, Tennessee Legends uh, bottling. It's not a distillery. Um, I don't think they distilled this. Um, I think it is sourced probably MGP. It's from uh, bottled by Crystal Fall Spirits in Tennessee. This is a straight uh, whiskey, aged two years at 90 proof. And the cost on this is um, between 40 and 50 bucks. So, oh, and wouldn't you know it, it won't open. Oh, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. I had to have Cody open it. I'm, I'm old. Oh, Cody says I could have lied. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a try. King Snake Straight Bourbon Whiskey from uh, Tennessee Legends. Ooh, two year straight whiskey, and this smells like a bourbon. Whiskey bourbon, you know. Very heavy on the dark cherry spearmint little pear very small hints of banana some oak this is very bourbon-esque this is really this has got a nice aroma so it's going to be a one on cost because it's over forty dollars but this is a four to me on a, on the aroma. This is something that I have talked about on this channel all the time. The best whiskey to me is the whiskey that I can sit in my chair and watch TV and just do this for an hour and not even sip it. This is really great. So I'm gonna say it's a four. Let's get to the flavor. That's where it always goes downhill. Little weak, little watery, little, I don't know, almost a rottenish, um, not in a, I mean, rotten's always a bad word, right? But not in a bad way. It's, the flavor doesn't match the aroma. It's got a little bit of heat to it, a little bit of spicy ryeness to it. Um, but it doesn't have that dark fruit flavor. Very small hints of banana. However, it does go downhill from the aroma. The aroma has got it. The aroma is what I like. The flavor so kind of like maybe a little um, wet, rotten, a hay kind of flavor. Um, it could be better. It could be sharper. It could have more mint. It could have more um, dark fruit. There's not even any oak or, well, maybe there's a little oak, but there's not any tobacco or leather to it. So while the aroma to me is a four, the flavor is a three. It could be better. The bite is a three and a half. It's not too much. A little up front on the spiciness, not really that much on the back end. Uh, so we're looking at five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 and a half. So this is a three. That's a disappointment, but it is only $40, so it's well worth it. It'd probably be great for mixers where you're adding some different things in there, whether it's a Coke 
or some bitters or whatever you make in an old fashioned, it's gonna it's gonna be enhanced by more flavors being added to it. It is a disappointment because once you smell it, you're like, this is going to be spectacular, and it's not. Hmm. Seems to be a trend lately with some of my whiskeys that have been sitting on the shelf. And it wasn't open, so it's not a, uh, a shelf issue. Um, huh. I don't know. Cody's got some in his glass here. Does he want to pipe in? It was okay, but it wasn't Yeah, Cody didn't care for it. Um, with the aroma? From what I could smell, but my snifter's not nearly as good as yours, it was okay. Yeah. But I can get what you're saying. It smelled bourbonish. Yeah. I like the aroma. I'm not a... I'm okay. very disappointed. I'm not saying I'm not a fan. I'm disappointed in the flavor. Again, um, you have this many bottles. You always go back to stuff. Things can change. So we will, um, oh, we will try it. Again. Yeah, we will visit this and, um, it's not bad. It's just not what we were hoping for. The bar here the ha at the house, the, the studio seems to have a revolving, um, number of people come through it, to, from my mini whiskey clubs to friends and stuff. So, um, this will be out there for them to try and give their opinion. And, um, if it warrants, we'll do a review, um, episode. In fact, that might be something good to take some of the poor tasting as far as number goes and revisiting them in an episode but um tell me what you think that's what really matters go ahead and leave those comments below what do you think about king snake uh this is like i say about three years old so obviously they may have changed and um you know i believe this is source so maybe they're making their own who knows um, so let me know. I should do this or this for the thumbnail. <laughs> Just thinking in my head. All right. Tell us what you think. Make sure you do hit that like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Check out all of our videos Monday through Friday, social media. I don't say that enough. I think that's kind of something that you guys should be well aware of. We have social media and you should like and subscribe to your videos. Um, it just means a lot to people who make them. But remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. This is good whiskey. It's not great. The aroma's great. That's good whiskey. All right. Cheers.